Good day, Australia. Adam Hills here, getting a heads up from Natasha Stott Despoia uh, from a very imposing office in Adelaide. Does it look nice and clean? It looks fabulous. <laughs> Have you done that thing that we all seem to be doing of just anyone who has to be on camera during all of this has found one clean part of their house and kept it clean because that's where they do all their interviews? Absolutely, but I'm still not mastering this technology and I did a Zoom interview the other day and someone sent me an article, how to look better on Zoom. So I'm <laughs> I know. That is harsh. That oh, is well. harsh. All right, so first question, what were you meant to be doing right now, if not for the lockdown? Well, apart from my normal not-for-profit work in Australia, I was actually supposed to be at the United Nations in New York lobbying for a role for Australia on a committee that eliminates discrimination against women. So I was in full lobby election mode and can't do that now well I'm doing it via zoom but no I had to come home what are you doing are you are you managing to keep all of that going whilst whilst at home yes I start very early 6 a.m. I start my bilateral meetings with uh, New York and various representative uh, countries and then the rest of the day I do my normal not-for-profit board work so the Australian ballet beanies for brain cancer and of course my day job which is preventing violence against women and children for our watch a national foundation and that job must have just gone up a notch now that everyone's in lockdown. Absolutely, one of the greatest risks in this pandemic, in fact, because one of the antidotes is to stay at home, we know that there are many women and children uh, who are at risk in their own homes and a lot of that risk has escalated and it's a really terrifying time for a lot of families. It's a very, very difficult time for the sector as well. So I'm finding that quite confronting um, but for women and men who are on the front line dealing with domestic violence and family violence it's a really difficult time right now and so what would yeah. be your tips for anyone trying to maintain their mental health at the moment definitely get some exercise and i don't mean you know aerobics or flash dance or whatever just make sure you have time out so whether it's walking somewhere standing up from the computer because we're all doing computer meetings making sure you get some of that exercise perhaps not eating too much and certainly not drinking too much i find wine o'clock comes around much earlier <laughs> these days so looking after yourself like that is really important and i guess looking out for others so one of the things we talk about in the women's movement or in the gender equality and prevention of violence sector is be a good bystander so keep an eye on other people as well but yeah lower expectations i worked out sadly that my kids aren't going to do really creative renditions of songs from Les Mis <laughs> and so if you lower your expectations that's one way of starting to deal with you know this very strange new normal but um and definitely don't try and homeschool I'm impressed that you're doing homeschooling with the kids. I, the school is doing the online learning for my children. I'm a comedian and I don't have an audience, so I'm not sure how much they're learning, but they're certainly laughing during the day. Yes, well, there's been tears, there's been laughter here, but uh, thank God for you and other creative types because I'm on the board of Global Citizen and you look at the amazing concert that they put together, together at home. I mean, if we don't have music and books and creative, industries you know the arts are so important to keep us sane and you know excited and inspired during these times so that's been a big thing for me music and reading and now listen as a relatively socially introverted person someone who quite yeah. likes staying at home how's the adjustment going to be when we do finally go back out into society again I'm, I'm worried about that i think it'll be interesting because so many people will be keen to get out and about hospitality yeah. have a drink in a pub etc but I think we've learned some lessons too. I mean, we have a lot of face-to-face -face meetings. We travel a lot in our society for yeah. all kinds of industries and professional work. I'm wondering how much of that is impacting on our environment to the point where it's really necessary. So I think there'll be some changes maybe in the way that people do business. Um, I'm just hoping we look after those people that are looking after us. So health workers, carers, people in the supermarkets, all of those key roles that we've probably underestimated for many, many years. It's good to see our governments acknowledge those yeah. roles. And, you know, free childcare. All these years I've been arguing for quality, accessible, you know, publicly funded childcare. It takes a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> in you. Well, listen, good luck maintaining your mental health. 
uh, both in lockdown and when we are allowed back out into society again and released into the wild. Yes, well, thank you, Adam, you too. And look out for each other, especially if you think people are unsafe for whatever reason, mental health, physical health, any kind of, you know, abuse or scary behavior, please report it, confront it, intervene when safe to do so, but look out for each other. And look after your mental health, Australia.